So my name is Jasper Neal and I'm an avionics technician for the Red Arrows. Uh, so my job involves maintaining the aircraft, um, all the electrical aspects of the aircraft, um, making sure that they're functioning properly um, and yeah, everything's working. So being a child, my dad always took me to air shows. Um, so I've, I've had a passion for aviation since I was a little kid. Um, and yeah, I've just been bitten by aviation. So um, to get to where I am today, I've had to go, go for a lot of training courses. Um, started off with basic training at RAF Halton, um, going through technical training at RAF Cosford, um, one for six months to become a aircraft maintenance mechanic and then another nine month course back at the same place at RF Cosford to become um, a technical trade as an avionics technician. Um, so just getting through all the tests, all the exams um, to end up where I am today. So um, staying positive is definitely one of the key um, points. Um, if you've if you're not being positive, then your production production rate's probably going to um, go down a bit. Uh, so it's definitely important to stay positive no matter what you're doing. So um, what I enjoy most about my job is uh, probably generating the aircraft, um, getting them in the air so that the public can see them. Um, I get a, a massive payback for that personally. Um, the worst bit probably is the early mornings. Um, just, I'm not a morning person, but it's worth it in the end. So, um, to join, I got my five GCSEs, A to Cs, um, in various subjects. From doing my GCSEs, I then did two years at Swindon College, doing general engineering. So I got an MVQ level two. Um, from college, I put my application in for the Air Force. Um, I then went through selection, past selection, um, and then onwards to RF Cosford for my six month training to become an aircraft maintenance mechanic. Um, then I did my first tour, which is at RF Lossy Mouth for 18 months um, on tornadoes, and then back to Cosford for a further nine months training to become an av avionics technician. Um, and then from there, you're fully qualified to go out and do your job role. So. That's where I've ended up. Um, just try not to second guess yourself. Um, if you can see something that you really want to do, just go for it. Because um, you don't know if you don't try.